Hey guys, it's Michelle and I am so excited to bring you yet another Teddy Blake unboxing. So I already have two Teddy Blakes. The first one is this nine inch Kim Stampato in light gray. What a beauty, right? The second one is one of my favorites in my entire collection, the Red Ava Crocodile with gold hardware. Hello, what a beauty, jaw dropper, showstopper, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, look at me. Look how good she looks. Everybody just swoons over this bag. Here she is with my neutral colored outfit. Remember, I tell you guys, buy a red bag. It's like wearing red lipstick. It makes a beautiful statement. You can wear it with almost anything. Anyways, enough about Ava. When Teddy Blake reached out to me again and was like, hey, do you wanna do another video with a bag? And I was like, yes, of course, a million times yes. I really wanted to try a different style. I really love my top handles. It's totally me. But I wanted to try the Kate. The Kate has been on my eye on my eye, in my mind, on my mind <laughs> for a while. So I was like, okay, let's go with a Kate. But the color combo that I wanted was not available right now at this moment. So maybe I'll get her next time. So I really had to think about this of what bag would be next. I already know as much as I love Ava, I need her in beige, in lilac, in navy, in orange. I need her in every single color. But I was thinking about it and I am going to go against my own advice here. I am always talking about bright colored statement bags. Don't need black bags because they're going to mix in with your outfit, blend in and disappear. And I have quite a collection of black bags sitting over there that honestly don't get into the rotation very much. However, it's always been on my mind that if I were to purchase a black bag, I would want a classic top handle, semi shiny type of very feminine black top handle handbag. Ava kind of fits that description. So I wrote, again, I really had to think about this because you know, I said I'd never go black because also once you go black, can you? I mean, there's just so many other flavors and colors, yellow, red, green, purple, blue, white, off-white, tan, that I just, I haven't, you know, I want to get my hands on still. So I want to, anyways, you, you, you know the dilemma here, what I'm saying, do I, do I need, do I need another black bag? Do I need it? Do I need it? I mean, so many options, so many. So, Okay, guess what? I did it. I just could not wait to get my hands on this rich, textured, ooh, dripping in gold, black skin, cowhide, Teddy Blake bag. Isn't she a beauty? Oh my God. I don't know about you ladies, but I just love a rich gold draped against a black textured skin like this. It looks so luxurious. It looks so rich. It looks sexy. It looks amazing. So can I rock a black bag? Absolutely. I picture her with a black dress, some black heels that have some gold detail and just do that black, black Audrey Hepburn look. She also comes with the key bell. Okay, even though this like lock it doesn't belong anywhere on the bag, but it makes it a nice bag charm. If you want a little extra gold dripping on the bag. So this one is a lizard texture emboss. She's quite elegant, isn't she? Let me show you the other Ava. My other Ava is a crocodile emboss. The emboss, it really is just um, a finishing. It's like a plastic film coating that creates the texture. It often hides um, some like elements on the leather that may not be perfect, but I think the texture also, it just makes the bag a little more interesting and a little more classy. So I was super excited to pick this beautiful black Teddy Blake Ava. So this is the nine inch Ava with the lizard texture. Do we want to see what fits in Ava? Oh. 
Teddy Blake was also very generous and they sent me some accessories. The first one is this beautiful card case. Oh, I'm sorry, this beautiful coin purse. I did want her in black. Um, they do have this in black with a red inside if you're into that. But I wanted to merchandise both with Ava and I guess old Ava and new Ava. I'm going to have to name them. But I don't always have to be matchy-matchy, so I thought the black with the red coin purse would also look really good together, like when I pull this girl out, how nice that's going to look. These little dust bags are so darn cute. So they also sent a card holder. I did want the crocodile card holder to match, but they were out of it. So you know what, in the spirit of fall, this one I am going to give away. Stay tuned for giveaway details. So let's do a what fits. I already know that Ava, she's a pretty roomy bag and she fits a lot. Another thing about Ava, the inside is suede. The interior is suede. So Teddy Blake also sent me these how they're made videos to share with you, my audience, because part of my joy in doing this is sharing my knowledge of manufacturing and my knowledge of luxury retail, are you really getting the value for your money? So I'm not like Tanner Leatherstein, I'm not gonna tear my handbags apart because I love them all, all of them. I love you, I love you, I love you. Okay, but with my eyeballs, um, with the experience I have with different types of leathers, I am very, very happy with the way this handbag looks. She looks rich, she looks luxurious. Craftsmanship of this bag from the two Teddy Blakes that I already own. Like I am already in love with them instantly. They might not be like the highest of the high, but for the prices that you're going to pay, you are just getting so much out of these bags. Honestly, everything about this bag, like is just as good as something you would find at the mall for luxury prices. But most of their bags are under $500 and I think that's a good investment. I say bags are not investments, but for $500 for something you're going to use over and over, it's a lot more palatable. Let's just, you know, let's just be real for us regular diggers who aren't rich enough to buy a Louis Vuitton every month, let alone every year or like at all. And spending three grand on a bag might be unfathomable when there's other priorities we are in a recession. I just have different priorities. So let's see what fits. I'm gonna drop in my keys. Just put imaginary space for the phone. There's a lot of room in here, so I'll put the coin purse and the card holder and a lipstick and my glasses. And one of these, Oop! it's my face device. It's to touch up my skin. The only minor inconvenience is the way this bag closes. It's a little cumbersome. Teddy Blake, please come up with a new closure. This lizard colorway also comes in beige, which looks amazing. And the crocodile colorway, we're gonna start a collection of Ava. So there's two more colors. No, no, more than two. There is just so many. So I really hope that once I went black that we can go back to other things. I don't wanna discriminate other colors. Okay, another thing I noticed on the Teddy Blake website, and this is like, wow. You guys finally did it. They added an exotic material. So if you ever wanted to know what it feels like to have a black snake in your hand, guess what? They have this Ava available in black snake. The Ava in black python snake skin. And it's not just in black. She also comes in um, tan, caramel, um, oh, uh, brown. Yes, I meant brown. <laughs> and if you don't like brown, there is a white snake skin and even a gray snake. Gray? Hmm. Well, you know. Now, what's amazing about this is it's priced at just $1,000. I used to sell exotics. Oh my God. First of all, a full exotic bag that's either a snake or a lizard 
or a crocodile. There were like the price of a car. Okay? And then anything, any capucin that just had like a little piece of a snake, like the snake handle or the logo was 6K. So it was a cowhide bag with just a little snaky snake trim. Me personally, I don't like snakes, but they do have snake skin. So I think honestly, that makes a really nice Christmas present because if it's something like, oh, I wouldn't really reach for that myself, but I would love it as a present. So here you have lizard. Here you have crocodile. Um, no, like a real, a real lizard and a real crocodile actually has scales. Um, so it's not going to like feel scaly. It just gives it the texture. Like I said, it looks elevated. Now the other leather option, um, and there are other more leather options than what I'm showing you here, but my first bag was the Kim Stampado, and the Stampado looks like a full grain leather. By that you can see the tumble, see the grain of the leather here. Although I can just tell that this is more like, I would say um, a medium range leather price-wise, where a real full grain would be something like the Togo Birkin leather. So by adding that treatment to it to make it look more tumbled, it gives it that richer look. There's different levels of leather and like, don't be surprised that Chanel and YSL and even Vuitton, they're not necessarily using the top grade leather. When I worked at Vuitton, the top grade leather was reserved for the capucines. But think of all the other bags uh, in between three grand and 5K they were not using the best leather, honestly. So the Teddy Blake bags, most of them do fall under $500, except for the exotics. And the link is posted below, as well as my coupon code. So I'm gonna give away the card holder. Uh, what should my giveaway be? Hmm. In the comments, I want you to tell me your favorite 90s, band or musician. If you guys are to this point of the video, you know the drill. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me nice comments. Thank you guys so much for joining and I will see you soon. Bye.